popped up all them videos. We feeding the church of the Most High. We got a <clears throat> a new uh, site that we put up on YouTube the other day, and it's called Mac Magus Mellis. Magus Mellis, Magus Mellis Archives, and basically all those videos that go back a year and a half, two years ago or more, it's all going to go on that on that um, site right there, on that YouTube site. And you know what? You got to watch those old videos because you get a lot of there's a lot of solid information in those old videos. Go ahead. It says which he hath purchased with his own blood. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. And, and you see that. Got all these clowns out there trying to get at us or get at people, at people that follow us to follow them so they can learn that madness. Go ahead. It says, Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw away disciples after them. Right. Now that's what I said about that situation. Uh, earlier about this guy that was that that's outside the circle of GMS, he's trying to get guys that are in the circle of GMS to pull him out so he can s set up his own disciples. But he's not going to go out there and, and, and develop his own disciples. He's going to try to get guys that he knew on the other side, right. on the inside. Now the now the guys that fall for uh, demons like that, you're not grounded. You just been acting. And that's why you camp leaders, you have to watch over these guys, man. And you have to watch, you have to examine yourself. You got to know when a guy's mind is not right. <laughs> so, this, this, go ahead. <laughs> Therefore, watch and remember that by the space of three years, I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. Oh, hey, but by the space of three years, because you, got, you started getting it about three years ago. Now, look, this is Paul. I'm not saying I'm Paul. All right? To set the record, you got these idiots out there. That's yeah, hard going around saying, telling people they're easy. But I ain't never said to nobody, to none of you cats out there that I was the Apostle Paul. I ain't never sent no emails saying, look, brother, I'm the Apostle Paul. But you got these guys saying, yeah, this brother's a hard thing. He's the Apostle Paul. I don't know who that I might be. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. It's not important. Just like John, when they asked John, if he's one of them uh, um, this, um, uh, prophets, they asked him if he was uh, Elijah. And what did he say? He said no. But was he Elijah? Yes, he was Elijah. Why did he say no? Because he didn't know that he was Elijah. Just like I don't know who I was back then. If you ask me if I'm Paul, I'm going to say what? I'm going to say no. All I know is, is that I'm Tahar and I got a job to do this time. So whatever whatever I did back then, that has nothing to do with it. I'm back here in the flesh all over again. So I gotta if if I did great things back then, I gotta prove myself all over again to the Most High. How about Shimmy? How was shy? So for the so for the record, I'm not Paul. Now I could be Paul. You know I could be I could be a lot of people. This brother could be Paul. We, this brother could be uh, James. He could be. We don't know who he is. We don't know who the hell we are. But these guys, they had nothing better to do. And like and like uh, this elder said, when we put up new videos, those guys that hate us, they they gonna see if they put up the new videos. So I can put in a negative comment. You're the first. You're the first motherfuckers that come on our our site to see us, man. And you know how I know. Because the first where it says like and dislike, it might be two dislikes. I said, there goes the, the first motherfuckers, man. The haters, boy. <laughs> Go ahead. This is Philippians 3 and 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. What verse is that? That was uh, Philippians 3 and 13. All right, go ahead. That was, that was it on that. All right, now let's go back. Do um, you want me to go to Romans now? I, I no, no, no. We finished. We go. We go back in Acts. I finished, yeah, I finished that. I finished okay, okay. All right. Now let's go. Go to uh, Colossians, the second chapter, the first verse to the ninth verse. Uh, this is the. All right. This is the book of Colossians, chapter two, verse one. For I would that you knew 
what great conflict I have. This is the Apostle Paul speaking again. Go ahead, or writing this letter, epistle. Go ahead. For I would that you knew what great conflict I have for you and for them at Laodicea, and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their heart might be com comforted, being knit together in love, unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding. I'll read that again, riches. That the hearts might be co comforted, that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love, and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding. All riches of the full uh, assurance of understanding. Meaning to totally have this truth, to totally be grounded, rooted. Go ahead. It says, to the acknowledgement of the mystery of the Most High. Yeah, this is a mystery, man. This is, this, this is not written like a textbook. Oh, I don't know what that's breakdown is let me go to the back of the book and the, the, the most high is not going to give you that he's not going to say well here's a uh, uh, footnote you don't understand that let's go back to, let's go to the back of the book and it'll explain it doesn't work that way go ahead it says and of the father and of the anointed and whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge now let's understand one thing riches and treasures in this case is talking about this truth this knowledge Go ahead. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. Now go to the blue letter on that, brother. Read that again. And this is uh, Colossians 2 and 4. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. Lest any man beguile. We're going to look up the word beguile. And we're going to look up the word entice. Because that's what's happening now. So you guys are not, that are not rooted and grounded... You're going you're gonna to get sucked up into that madness, man. Go ahead. All right, first we're going to look up the word. Look up the word um, beguile. Strong's G, 3884. Paralagidzamai. Paralagidzamai. Which means to reckon wrong. Miscount, <laughs> yeah, that's why I had my man say it. <laughs> to cheat by false reckoning, to deceive by false reasoning, to deceive, delude, circumvent. Which circumvent means to go around the truth, you know, dance around it. Uh, to re uh, reckon, wrong, miscount, to cheat by false reckoning, to deceive by false reasoning, deceive, delude, circumvent. All right, now the next word is um, enticing words. Yeah, they have it lumped together. Um, is the Greek. Strong's G, 4086, Pithanalagia. Pithanalagia. Which means the word enticing in the English. It says speech adapted to persuade discourse in which probable arguments are adduced in a bad sense persuasive persuasiveness of speech uh, specious discourse leading others into error I'll read that again it's uh, uh, it says speech this guy that I'm talking about man that's doing that that's exactly the, the scriptures fit him to a to a T. Or as as Johanna 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 would Johanna Bar would say, this these scriptures fit him to a T bone. You know? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, uh the definition is speech adapted to persuade discourse in which probable arguments are adduced in a bad sense, persuasiveness of speech. Uh, speci specious discourse leading others into error. That's all we need. No matter who that is. No matter read no more. Yeah, that Gre that Greek man is bad, man. You know, the Hebrew. That's why you gotta look. You gotta master that blue letter, man. That blue letter that that should be your friend. You know, and you want to get deeper into the scriptures, deeper into those words, go into the original Hebrew or the original Greek. All right. I right, go ahead. 
Right, back in Colossians 2 and 4. And this I say, at least any man should beguile you with enticing words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order and the steadfastness of your faith in the Messiah. As you have therefore received the Messiah, Yahweh Shai the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up and, est and, est and established in the faith as rooted and built up. Let's look those words up. Because if you're rooted and built up, you won't get a 